Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to tell you about 5 search engines as good as Google. And in some situations, they can even beat the famous brand. I don't mean Yandex or Bing. There are search engines which can really outperform the well-known market leaders, though in a few things only. Here we go. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. What search engine do you use? Google? Yandex? Or maybe Bing? In addition to the three well-known names, there are many more search tools out there, and they can be an amazing alternative to commercial search engines spying on every click you make. And number one is DuckDuckGo, quite a popular open-source search engine. It uses results received from its own search bot and other sources. For example, Yahoo, Bing or Wikipedia. DuckDuckGo claims to be the search engine to ensure maximal privacy. It doesn't collect any user data, doesn't keep logs, so there is no such thing as search history, and using cookie files is restricted as much as possible. DuckDuckGo neither collects your personal data nor shares it due to restrictions in its privacy policy. All large search engines try to personalize their search results based on what they know about the user. That is, you will only see the results that comply with your preferences or which the search engine thinks are relevant for you. By contrast, DuckDuckGo is there to give you the real picture regardless of what you did on the Internet before. And it never shows you ads based on your previous search requests, unlike Google or Yandex. When you open its settings, you can easily disable ads, set the region, enable HTTPS by default, specify settings for opening links and even set up the search engine appearance. Almost every aspect can be configured the way you like it, and it's such a great feature. Not Evil Not Evil is the search engine that looks for information inside Tor, the well-known anonymous network. That is, it's a search engine you can use in your browser to serve the Tor network. After all, the first question you ask when you start a Tor browser is, how do I get to find the website I need? In fact, it's very difficult to make a sound review of Tor-compatible search engines. It takes special methodology and metrics, which is something I don't have at the moment. So, before we continue, I'd like to warn you, everything I'm going to say is only my personal opinion. In terms of overall functionality and quality, Note Evil is just as good as any other Tor search engine, such as Grams, Torch, Fast, Candle, Ahema, and others. Yet, it seems to be the most stable and easy to understand. It will never show you any ads, and there is no tracking either. Due to smart and continuously updated search algorithms, it is easy to find the necessary information. It can search for stuff in locations where Google, Yandex and the like will never take you. Still, searching the so-called Onion websites does not always come up to your expectations. After all, it's no Google or Bing with the results sorted by tons of criteria like behavior, backlinks and so on. With no ill, things are way more complicated. Previously, it was known as Tor Search Project, with quite a wide coverage of users. The search results are good, but there is so much to be improved yet. Find Sounds – another specialized search engine. It can search open resources for all kinds of sounds – home, nature, cars, people, and so on.
This service supports only a few languages, but instead it features an impressive amount of tags even in the languages not supported, so you can still do some searching. The search results include sounds only. All sounds are available for download. You can even search by sample. If you need to find the sound of a musket firing or a woodpecker working or Homer Simpson shouting, that's just the right place to go. The range of tags is extremely wide. Jokes aside, it looks like a specialized service clearly designed for a special circle of users. But who knows, what if you may need it one day? Wolfram Alpha Wolfram Alpha is a computational search engine, sometimes referred to as an answer engine. Instead of links to articles containing keywords, it gives you a ready answer to your query. For example, if you ask how many bytes in a megabyte, Wolfram Alpha will show you comparison tables and sometimes even graphs. Unfortunately for some users from Eastern Europe, Wolfram Alpha doesn't support Cyrillic languages. However, it is the best resource to search for facts and compute data. Wolfram Alpha accumulates and systematizes knowledge from all fields, including science, culture, and entertainment. If the database already contains a ready answer to your query, the system shows it at once, and if it doesn't, it computes the result and then displays it. It only shows the required information and nothing else. If you are a student, analyst, journalist, or a search worker, you can use Wolfram Alpha to search and compute data related to your activities. Certainly, this service is far from processing all queries in the best way possible, but it is constantly developing and becoming smarter every day. Boyd Reader Boyd Reader is the engine for text search in forums, question and answer websites, and other similar communities. It lets you narrow the field of search into social media only. With special filters applied, you can quickly find posts and comments in accordance with the search criteria, language, date, and website name. Boydreader is a great tool when you need opinions from real users rather than advertising babble, or if you are interested in following a discussion. It's a very special search engine, but I'm sure many people all over the web will appreciate it. As the bottom line, I have to say that many alternative search engines tend to be short-lived. Things are pretty easy. Uh, they can be in niche projects with a small circle of fans and users, which means questionable prospects of going commercial, or they may have none of all that stuff at all. Looking at the examples you have seen in this video, it's evident that such search engines either specialize in some narrow field which is so far not too important to get Google or Yandex interested enough, or they are meant to test certain ideas which are not applied in typical search patterns yet. I'm sure that if searching top becomes more popular and at least 1% of Google users wants it, top services will start looking for ways to give the people what they're looking for. If the online audience behaves in the way to suggest that most users in a significant number of queries find results without user-dependent factors to be more relevant, Yandex or Google will respond quickly by providing this specific type of results more often. Truly, in many aspects the search engines I told you about have a long way to go before they can really compete against the top products like Google and Yandex, and even Bing is too much for them. Yet, each of the unique services can offer you something that top search engines can't beat. That is all for now. Hit the like button below and subscribe to Hetma Software channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!